Hey, what's up guys? It's Josh here. I'm here with Coach Ray and the rest of our coaching team, and we're going to go over this week's time drop interval workout for you. So for this workout, we're going to have four different stations. There'll be two exercises each station. You're going to go 40 seconds of hard work, 20 seconds to switch in the first set. The second set, we're going 30 seconds of hard work, 15 seconds to switch, and then the last set, we're going to go 20 seconds of hard work, and then 10 seconds to switch between exercises. You ready, Ray? Okay, so let's get started here. So station number one, we're gonna start on the rowers here. So you get your feet set up in those stirrups, grab those handles. You're gonna think about power, not speed on this one. So you're gonna drive through those legs, squeeze those shoulder blades at the end. Every pull as hard as you can here. It's a deep breath in on the way in, nice flat back. Drive on out, squeeze those shoulder blades, pushing that air out as you pull. When you're done, you put the handle back in the holster, bring your feet out of those stirrups. The second exercise here, we're coming over to our suspension trainer for our chest press. So facing away from the wall here, we're going to turn around, facing away from the wall here. <laughs> it happens a lot of people in their first uh, video. So we're going to get you set up in that push-up plank position, knuckles turned down, raise on the balls of his feet. Now he's going to squeeze those shoulder blades just like he's doing a push-up here. Squeeze and then press away here, deep breath in on the way down. Push that air out as you're pressing back up here. If you want to make this heavier, you step further in. If you need to make it lighter, you can put one foot forward or move both feet out to make it a little bit lighter there to get that full range of motion. Nice job, right? From there, we're coming over to station number two. We got Coach Lynn over here. She's going to start with our uh, bear crawls with our bag pull through. So she's got that bag set up between her legs. She's going to crawl past that bag and then she's going to reach down. Pull that bag through. So you're going to think about three steps here and then switch that arm that you're pulling with each time as well. So nice and controlled. He's just up above the floor. Nice and controlled pace here. The slower you go, the more challenging this is going to be. The second exercise here is our dead bugs with our bag pull apart. So Lynn's going to grab that bag. She's trying to tear it apart here. Lower back's pressed into the floor. She's pushing away with her heel, trying to get as long as she can really reach, reach, reach with that heel. Pause at the end and then pull it back in. Make sure you're trying to keep that lower back in contact with the floor the whole time. You can also rotate that hand with the opposite leg here, back and forth, or you can reach with that bag overhead and pull it back up as you come back in, or you can get rid of the bag completely and just practice those dead bugs without any weight at all. Nice job there, Lynn. From there, we're coming over to station number three. We got Coach MJ over here. She's gonna start on our skier. Shady. <laughs> came out of nowhere. <laughs> Skier's all about power, not speed. So reach high, pull hard. We're up to those tippy toes. Sit that butt back, push that air out as you're pulling every single pull as hard as you can here. The second exercise, we're going down to the floor for our cross body mountain climbers. She's got a push up plank position here. She's driving that knee up, rotating through those hips, trying to take that knee to the opposite elbow here. Now, if you need to, just go with those traditional mountain climbers here, driving one knee up at a time, or you can focus on holding that plank as you're getting tired, whichever works best for you. Nice job, MJ. From there, we're coming over to station number four. We got Coach T over here. And she's gonna be starting with our dumbbell triple presses. So she's gonna start one arm presses, the other arm presses, then she's gonna press them both at the same time. So it's right arm, left arm, both arms. Do not go left arm, right arm, both arms, because that's gonna screw the whole thing up. It's left arm, right arm, I just, whatever. <laughs> do whatever you want here, folks. Glutes are squeezed, abs will have a nice tight, grab those shoes with those toes, and challenge yourself with the weight on this one. The second exercise here is our slider glute bridges. So we're gonna go down to the floor, get your heels set up on those sliders. You're gonna drive your elbows into the floor here. Your feet come in, hips go up, hips down, feet out again. Feet in, hips up, hips down, feet out. Now if you want, you can keep those hips up the entire time here. So just off the floor, pull in, and then drive up. Or you can do that power glute bridge here where you're gonna drive up as you're pulling those feet in. This is a lot of work for those hamstrings, so take some time to build up to this one if you haven't tried it before. Okay, that is our time drop interval workout for this week. Great job, everybody.